Cleopatra, the Egyptian queen, a great beauty and powerful leader in the ancient world. Now she's back feeding on the living, craving her human form. If you want to see how I created this zombie Cleopatra look, then please keep watching. First, I'm going to apply a thin layer of my foundation. I'm using the EX1 Invisiwear. Now I'm taking this face makeup palette I got at my Halloween store. I'm going to be mixing the green and gray colors just to create a little bit of a zombie sick like color to the skin. It doesn't have to be too heavy, I just want a slight tint to my skin. I'm going to focus most of the product on the outer perimeters of my face. Then I'm taking the white color on the tops of the cheekbones and my nose for a little bit of dimension. Now for the bruised, sickly eyes, I'm going to start with this purple color and go back and forth right above the crease and up into the brow. Now I'm going to take the black and go all over the lid and on the lower lash line of the eye. Again, none of this is going to be neat because I want to look kind of dirty, really sickly and like I'm coming back from the dead. Now I'm going to take this navy color and go right between the black and the purple. Really going to smoke things out and start bringing it up and around the eyes. The blue mixed with the purple creates a bruise-like effect. Now I'm going to take the gray color and start bringing everything downwards. You can see it starts looking like dark circles and my eyes are kind of sunken in. You can go back and forth around the eyes and then I kind of go and like streak mark so it looks kind of messy. I'm going to go back to that black and add a lot in the inner corner to really make that part of the eye sink in. Now I'm going to start adding that gray color around the nose to kind of contour it and look a little bit messy. And I'm also going to take that gray color in the hollows of my cheeks just to give a little bit of dimension and to make them look kind of sunken in. Again, this doesn't have to be really neat. We want to look like we've just come back from the dead. Now I'm going to take this red gel liner and apply it in the waterline so my eyes look bloodshot. Every product I use in this video, I'll link down below in the description bar. Now I'm going to add some winged liner. Cleopatra was known for her really dramatic cat eyes, so I'm going to apply a big thick wing on the top and also add a second wing right below it. Now I'm using a purple and red gel liner to create veins. You can also use eyeshadows for this step. The best tip I can give you for this step is to use a really light hand. If you push down too much, your veins are going to look really harsh. So I start with a little bit of pressure towards the eye and then as I draw it out, I lighten my pressure so it kind of fades. I just kind of draw squiggly lines and have them branch out and then I go in with the red to add a little bit of dimension and then I go in with a fluffy brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Now I'm going to dirty up my face a little bit. I'm just going to take the black and create little streaks all around my face. Now I'm going to create a big gash along my cheek. I'm going to use some spirit gum adhesive. You could also use eyelash glue. And then I'm also going to take some tissue, rip it in half, and start crumpling up little pieces, kind of pinching it in the center. You want to make sure with the tissue you tear it off in little circles so you don't have any straight edges. You want all the edges to be jagged. I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation right on top to kind of help it blend and then I'm going back to the face paint. I'm going to add purple and black all around the wound. You want the center of the wound to be the darkest so I'm going to go back with some black eyeshadow right around the center. Now I'm going to take some of that gray eyeshadow all around the lips and also draw some veins down here with the purple and red gel liner just around the side of my mouth where the wound is.
Now for the fake blood, I'm gonna take this in the center and also around the wound. Again, you want the center to be the darkest. You can add as much or as little as you want. It's okay if some of it peeks through because it kind of looks like your skin is ripping. And then I'm also gonna deepen up around with black eyeshadow. I'm gonna intensify my lip color to look sickly with a taupe lipstick and some black eyeshadow around the mouth. Then we can add some blood to look like I just finished eating someone. So gross, but zombie life is hard. Then I just added a wig, jewelry, and flash tattoos and your look is complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this zombie Cleopatra look. It was so much fun to film. Let me know in the comments what you think and what else you wanna see, and I'll catch you in my next tutorial. Happy haunting!